Which side? Oh, okay. It's a good start. Have you had any pain or discomfort recently in your jaw area? Uh, just more tightness in this in the morning. Um, Both sides? Yeah. Okay. How long ago did that start? Um, probably the beginning of this month. Never had it before? Not that I really remember. Any accidents or injuries to your, your jaw area? Actually, I was in a car accident in high school and I shattered my teeth. I was Surgeries or you have, you have had a tooth repair. Yeah, but other than that, no. Did you, did you have any jaw pain at that time? Did you remember? No, I don't remember. I had more neck pain. Okay. I actually had no allergies last year, but I don't know if that's valid. Could be. Okay. <laughs> um, and then any, any other signs or symptoms today in your head, your head or neck? No. Okay. So that starts going to start start off our process, and I want you to um, ask each other those questions before you start you know, working on the TMJ, just to give you a sense of what you're dealing with. Um, after that, then it's over to uh, observation, which is the inspection, that's the eye. So we've got our general inspection, right, which is going to be looking for, just, I'm just going to move your hair, we're going to take a look at your jaw region. So it's discolorations, abrasions, scars, edema, or deformity, as per usual. And in particular, if I look right at the joint area, which is right in front of her EAM, Right, for signs of inflammation right, or malposition, um, redness, you know, swelling. Right. Look then at the general contour, at the length of the mandible. It should meet in the midline here. The length of the, you know, at, from the angle of the draw forward should be the same. Right. Look for signs of some sort of misalignment right at the joint line as well. So that's, that starts us off. Now, Prior to that, I had a short conversation with her, and I was actually looking to see how she moved her jaw. She looked like she was in pain, and she was talking out of just one side of the mouth. Right? Sometimes people can they'll talk out of one side. So look to see, if, you know, that. So that's called the natural use. So that starts the process. Then we do our observation. Um, we're, we're also going to check for um, the resting position, and in most of you, you're going to have a slight separation between the upper and lower row. So just relax. It's going to palpate her cheek between her teeth. And there should be a space there. And she should not be clenching. So she should be in a relaxed position. Then I'm going to check the intercuspal alignment. I'm going to have her put her teeth together, naturally, and then part your lips. And I'm going to look in the, uh, the upper row, the two larger teeth in the middle, you know, where they come together, there's a, there's a space. And look to see that lines up with the, and there's four smaller teeth on the bottom row, the middle two, those spaces should, should line up. And I'm looking to see, is, are those lines off-center? I'm also looking to see that her lower row is tucked in just behind her upper row. Or is it deep? Or is it actually forward, protruding? Okay, and it should be tucked just, below, just like she's got, just, below, just behind her upper row. Okay, so that's the intercuspal alignment. And so we've got that. Then we're going to go to the gait analysis. So there's mandibular gait, and there's six directions. Opening and closing, right up and down. Protraction and retraction, or protrusion and retrusion. Forward and back, and then lateral glide, left and right. And so they should, they should be symmetrical. We'll start with opening and closing. In a perfect world, when I have her open her mouth widely, the jaw, the midline should come straight down and go straight up. So let's see what we can see. So open your mouth as wide as you can. And close. And again, we're going to have to do it about three or four times. Just and close. And open. And close. Do you see anything? Any deviation? Left or right? Anybody? To the right. To the right. Her right? One more time. A lot? A little? What would you say? There's a little bit of a Z, right, as she starts to close again. So it looks like there's a little deviation, and then a Z is as she closes. Okay? So there's a very small... You know, change in the mandibular gate and opening a little bit to the right. Now, here's what happens. When she opens, in fact, everyone do this. Take your three fingers and put it right in front of your EAM. When you open your mouth and open it widely all the way, see what you, you know, let's see what you feel. Let's feel what you feel. So open as wide as you can. Eventually, you will feel the condyles come into your fingers. In the first half of opening, they're simply spinning in place backwards, posteriorly. 
and then as you continue to open, they glide forward. They come out of their fossa and glide forward, and that should happen symmetrically. All right? And if they don't come out at the same time, you're going to get a deviation. All right? So, and, and, and basically it works like this. If I deviate to the right, my left side, my opposite side, has come out a lot more or more than the opposite side. It could mean that this is too mobile or this is too tight. Or both. This could be mobile and this tight. But that would give me a deviation. So we're just going to leave it at that for now. Okay? So that's opening and closing. Now, the next I'm going to have you stick your chin out and pull it back. So stick your chin out. Step here and back and out and back and out and back. <laughs> what do you think? Is there a deviation? Fairly good. There was a little bit of a Z coming back, so it was a little bit of asymmetry. But again, it goes like this. As you stick your chin out, the condyles glide forward. And if I deviate to the right, it means this one's come out more than this one. So this one's too loose or this one's too tight. Okay. Lastly is lateral glide. So palpate again. Open your mouth a little bit. Glide to the left. Which side pops out? The right. The opposite, the right side. So it's this. Okay, so this spins in place, this disarticulates. Okay, so uh, we're going to look for that, and we're going to look to see how much the jaws deviate left or right. So <coughs> open your mouth a little bit, glide there, and glide the other way, there, and the other way. One more time, one side more than the other. So when you go left, you go more to the left and to the right, mm -hmm. which means that if she goes more left, right, this side's coming out, so this, this one's looser than going the other way. Now, the question is, is this hyper, or is this one hypo, it doesn't come out as much, right? So all we were looking for now is change, and which, where, where, what's the direction? And then as you go to motion palpate, we'll start to figure out, oh, this one's loose, no, oh, this one's actually tight, maybe a bit of both, okay? So that's our mandibular gait. Questions on that?